for moaning their poor kicking as well during the game. All right, well, earlier in the day at the MCG, uh, Melbourne, we didn't know quite what to expect against the West Coast Eagles. All the pressure, obviously, had been on Adam Simpson after their poor performance last week. And again, they were jumped in the first quarter a little better. And there's some patches during the game where they were better. But well, Melbourne, well, Adam Simpson post-game, we know the pressure has been on him. It's been intense with the text messages and, of course, exactly uh, where his team is at. And again, he was questioned uh, rather relentlessly in the post-game about his future and what he's feeling. We're not on a linear path here. This is not... We finished last last year. So your expectations of us last year, um, I'm not sure what they were, but ours was, let's just get better. Let's get better around some of the basics of the game. And that's what we're trying to do. So until we're consistent at it, it's going to be, it's going to be up and down. And the last couple of weeks, it's been down. But that doesn't mean all hope is lost. You know, we can't ride that wave. So whether it's me or someone else, it doesn't matter. We're still, it's going to take time. Yeah, I, I don't change. You know, it, it, um, I'm here to do a job as best I can and I'll do that until I get tapped on the shoulder. So it's not, um, that's not really in question. So I sort of know how long the road's going to be. Uh, I'm up for it. But if the club's not, then they're not. So it's, that's fine. It's, I'm OK with my football mortality. It's, it's, it's OK. What, what do you think when you hear him say that about his football no. mortality? That's true. He's very pragmatic, yeah. yeah. That's the guy that I know. Yeah. He, he's comfortable with what he's, what he's done, what he's achieved, how he's handled himself. The task in front of him now is enormous. And he knows that in all likelihood he's probably not going to survive it. It's mm. just a matter of when, not if. It feels like it will be the end of the year, but would it, given they stuck with him last year, would there be any point in doing it before the end Probably of the year. Probably not, because he's, he's always been consistent with his line. He knew what the brief was. Yeah. They said, this is the brief to guide this team through the horrible period where they haven't even bottomed out. And he's done that. And he's done it with grace and he's he's copped a lot of flack, but he knows exactly what the plan is and, he, and he's realistic about it all. So I think they've done the right thing. Are we seeing progress? Are we seeing what Of course we have. Yeah, we're seeing progress. And they've still got a long way to go. We all know that. Mm. I mean, it could have got really ugly today and it would have in the past. It could have been a big blowout. But they, they found a little bit. They're, they're showing some talent. They've still got a long way to go and, and there will be a new it, coach to take them through to the next period at some stage. I I can tell you one thing, if he didn't think he was the right man right now, he would walk in and make that call himself. So for people to say otherwise, it's just a nonsense. He's, he's club first, he's been that way for a decade. All right. Well